Truckers T in the building. What's going on with you? Man, still my future right now, you know, and be the better me. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so do me a favor. Let, you know, go ahead and introduce yourself and let everybody know who you are and what you used to do before trucking. Okay, my name's Jess. Um, I started truck driving when I was 21 years old, and I'm still kind of doing it right now, but I'm moving more into uh, psychology, and I want to kind of bring that together. I've been over the road. I've been local. I've been a yard dog, moving trailers back and forth, and... I've been meeting different people all around the world and just a lot of people ain't got nobody to talk to. A lot of people ain't got no, they don't know what to do with themselves. They're just out there. All they know is the road. All they know is getting them miles. So I just want to understand the mind a little bit better and be able to help those truck drivers out there. That's um that's basically what I'm about right now. Right. I'm still driving. Okay. Um, okay. I'm, what, I'm doing the psychology too. What, what you used to do, what, what did you used to do before you got into trucking though? Um, before I got in the truck, you know, I was 21 when I started, so I was doing odd jobs. I wasn't really doing nothing with myself. So mm -hmm. that's, that's basically my main career, really. I started out young. Oh, okay. So you got in the truck in that 21. What, at, mm -hmm. at such a young age, at 21, what, what made you decide to, 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 to do trucking? Honestly, I, you know, being a kid, I wanted to see the world. I wanted to just run away from things that I thought I was dealing with and stuff like that. And I knew truck drivers in my family, like my great grandfather. I got an uncle and cousins that was truck drivers. So, but my main reason was just to explore the world for real. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So were you told now at a young age, uh, you, you were still living with your parents or was you out on your own at that age? At that age, I was living with my mother. All right. So you, you had to come back and had that conversation with your moms. What was that? How did that conversation go when you told her that you wanted to be a truck driver? Honestly, being her only daughter, she was scared. <laughs> she was scared for her baby because she know how I am. I'm a people person. I'm outgoing. She just wanted me to be aware of my my surroundings and stuff like that. So she mm -hmm. just wanted me to be scared. Yeah. So being the so being the only girl uh, to your moms, she she just wanted to make sure that you was all right and you made the that you made the right decision. I mean, you know, at at twenty one, <laughs> the thought of being a truck driver for a female <laughs> at that time is like, you know, it's like kind of unheard of. But I mean, right, right. You know, you 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 guys, you know, you you know, females at 21 is thinking more of cosmetics, uh, beauty, you know, doing the hair, nursing, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And you, you just came out of the box. Like, yo, I just want to be a truck driver. Right. So right. who, who, was, who you say you had people in your family that that was truck uh -huh. driver. So was they your inspirations, or where where did you get your inspirations from? Honestly, I knew they were truck drivers and stuff like that, but I had to really dig deep. Like, where did I want to do this from? So I went back and I was and I was I was talking to my mom and I was I thought it was just random. She was just you know, like you know when you was a kid, you used to draw trucks all the time because I like to draw too, and I was always a creative kid. So I go back and look at the stuff that she had. She was like, look, you used to draw trucks all the time. So maybe deep down, that's something I just always wanted to do. So okay. honestly. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. <laughs> so you say, you say bump it. So it wasn't nobody that came to you and say, yo, you can make uh six figures oh. and stuff like that. You, you just got oh. your inspiration just from the stories. Yep. That's it. Ain't nobody telling me how much I can make. They didn't tell me what I was about to go through. Nothing. I just put myself out there. Okay, that's what's up. So did you? So how how did you do it? Did you did you go to school or did you go to uh, through a company? How how did you do it by way of getting your license? Um, I went to truck driving school, and um, I took the longest course they had, so I could make sure I had an understanding of how to operate that big vehicle. Because I not only was it was new to me, but I was a little nervous at first. But I took the longest course they had, and I got through it. Now, yo, 
now your 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 area code is a New York area code. Is is that's where yeah. you is that's where you from? Are you born and raised in New York? No, I was born and raised in Akron, Ohio. What? I had, uh, went out. Yeah. What? <laughs> I went out to New York and bought a phone. Uh huh. Oh 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 hold oh, up! Oh, 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 I got I I I got an Ohioan up in this piece. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. And you from it, it, born and raised in Akron? Akron, yep. Okay, the home of LeBron James. You got that right. <laughs> okay, okay. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Now you say you got your license back uh when you was twenty one. How old are you now? I'm twenty seven. Are you twenty seven? So twenty one six years ago. So so you was around during the LeBron James era. Uh huh. Absolutely. Okay. Now, being that y'all two from Akron, did 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 y'all bump into each other? I I know you're younger than him, but I mean, Akron no. is like a small town, you know. Right. No, I never bumped into LeBron. I always bumped into like his people or people that knew him. Mm -hmm. And um, my stepfather, he's uh, my late stepfather, he passed away. He actually did work for his mom and stuff, like on his house and on her house and stuff like that. So. Uh, you say you did work on the house. Is this after basketball or pre basketball? No, this was like pre basketball. My stepfather used to work on um with his on his mother's house and stuff like that. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. He ain't get he he ain't get no autograph or or he didn't or at that time LeBron wasn't wasn't famous yet. I think at that time all he got was a pair of shoes. <laughs> <Honestly>. <laughs> oh man! So, how, so being that you and LeBron is from the same, from, you know, from the same city, Akron, Ohio. How how do you feel about uh how how do you how did you feel about him going down to Miami when he when he turned around and told everybody he was taking his talents down to South Beach? Man, at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for me. For you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't change where you're from. You always know where home is. So, I wasn't I wasn't big on me, for real. You got to do what you got to do. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, I, so you so you went up. Now, you well, now what happened? You you lost your phone or something that forced you to get a to get a phone from New York? The hell? Uh, yeah, I had broke my phone, and then I had went to visit New York on vacation and I bought a phone out there. Oh, okay. It wouldn't give me my 330, so they had to give me the 718. Oh, okay, okay. 718, New York. That's what's up. Um, all right, so you went to, so you, you went to truck driving school uh, in Akron. What was what was the, op what was the, uh, what, what was available uh, for truck driving school in Akron? Um, what do you mean? What was available? No, what school you went to? That's what I meant to say. Oh, okay. Um, I went to Hamrick Truck Driving School. That's ha on Medina. Hamrick. <laughs> yeah, that's one of yep. the. Yeah, that's one of the popular ones. You got Hamrick. You got. You got Hamrick. You got Great Lakes, and you got yep. Tri C. So. Yeah. Great Lakes was is near you. Why Why you chose Hamrick over Great Lakes? Um. I don't know. I had I just did it on my own. I had Google truck driving schools, and I was kind of on the west side of Akron, mm -hmm. and Medina is like kind of leaning close close right, to like, uh, right there off of eight. So, yeah, yeah. So I just went over there and talked to them, and I got started. Uh, cash out your pocket, or you a grant? How what what you do to pay I, for it? I did a a, a grant. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what's up. Now, people, you know when you when you're looking for truck. You know, truck driving schools is it's not necessarily, you know, that you had to pay for it out of pocket. Now, I wish I would have known that years ago. You know, I was so interested in getting into truck driving years ago. I knew I didn't want to go to a company and, and be subjected to a company. But I was just such afraid, number one, of the cost. And number two, mm -hmm. I just felt that I just didn't. I just couldn't afford it. But as I got into trucking and got more and more into it, I realized that, yeah, you can, you can get a grant. You can get a, um, you know, you can get, there's other opportunities than going through a company to, 
you know, to uh, go to school and pay for it. So you you got Absolutely. you you got the grant. You got your now you got your license. So what was uh mm -hmm. you know back in back then twenty one years old got your license CDL rolling with the big dogs now. What what yeah. what uh what what was what was the first company uh before the current company you're at now because you know we'll fast forward everything in the middle. But what was the first company that you went with and what was your experience with them? Um, for like a week I tried out um no, a month. I tried out Western Express. <laughs> oh and God. Yeah, stop that was stop. <laughs> for a person that did they do diligence, man, you come on. Somebody had to talk you into Western Express. <laughs> Man, listen. One, I signed up the truck and truck driving school mm -hmm. without really a clue for real, because I had some stuff on my driving record. So I really had limited oh, myself. Oh, my okay, life. okay. So I just needed to get my experience at that point. It didn't. So I didn't really have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So I had a month of them, and then after them, I went to Snyder, and I was with Snyder for a year. Oh, okay, okay. Now Snyder's. You know, considering Snyder is like the boot camp of trucking, <laughs> right? The trucking training. Literally. You know, they they literally right. the boot camp of trucking, uh, truck training. But, mm -hmm. uh, but your tenure with uh, with uh, Western Express was only a month, huh? Yeah. What yeah. what what happened within that month? Um, I feel like the training is lacking. They kind. Mm -hmm. of put me out there like without really making sure that I knew what I was doing. Mm. So um I had you know when you got your trainer, y'all go out on the road together, they let you drive, they let you get out and check the freight and all that other stuff, back it up and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. So they they let me do it, but most of the time while I was driving, especially when I first started and never drove at night before, mm -hmm. they was in the back of Back of the truck, sleep, knocked out. Didn't even care <laughs> what, what I was doing in the front. So they, so, so they, okay. they, they not up. They, they not up front. Like no, why? I mean, you know, paying attention to what you was doing and everything. No, no, wow. not even my first. Night. They said they seen I was cool driving through the day, and they went to sleep at night. I was just like, dang. <laughs> wow. Was you yeah. doing that time? Was you what? Was you scared? Absolutely. I was scared. Absolutely. <laughs> what was some of, you know, and I, I know you only lasted a month with them and you, you got mm -hmm. better, you got better training and better experience with Snyder. But what was some, what was some of the scariest moments, uh, with, with, uh, Western Express? Um, so being from Ohio, I ain't never really been nowhere for real. I've been down South, but I ain't never been like to other states. Mm -hmm. So my first experience was in Chicago when I seen how low bridges was and I didn't know where I was going and my trainer was in the back seat mm -hmm. and I was looking at the GPS to make sure I know where I was going and oh it looked like God. all these bridges. Uh, uh, off the, top. The, G, the GPS so in Chicago, the GPS yeah. is... Depending on what GPS, well, I'm I'm going to say probably both of them, Ram McNally and and Garmin. Yeah. Um, yeah. You 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 need like extra 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 yeah. help. Like Absolutely. you you need you need a Garmin, you need a Ram McNally, and you need Absolutely. the and you need the the what do you call it <laughs> the uh the Google. Yeah, you you need right. all that shit. In order to navigate right. through <laughs> Chicago, man. Like, exactly. the fuck? <laughs> that was one of my first places to go to. And mm -hmm. I was just like, man, I, this would be the this would be the first the first time I really messed something up because I I swear I was gonna cut off the top of that truck. <laughs> I swear. And and your trainer is in the back sleep, like Oh, don't worry about it, you yep. got it. Right, you got it. I've been driving at daytime. You got it. at night, low bridges. Don't know where I'm going. Don't want. Don't want to make sure that we going to the right destination. Just nothing. Just go to sleep. Mm, mm, mm. That shit crazy. 
<laughs> so you said you said enough of all that and you bounced right. over to Snyder. Uh you spent yeah. uh so of course you spent the year with Snyder getting your uh getting your experience in and everything. Uh how how many trucking companies you was with before you be before you settled down with your with your current company? Um so I wanna say One, two, three. Most of the time, it's like warehouse box. Uh oh, you 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 broke up there. You you broke up there. Sounded like Steve Austin. What what'd you say? Can you hear me? I uh, said like I would say like three major companies, and mm -hmm. then like the rest was like little odd jobs, like warehouses, little truck jobs, you know, box trucks. So to where I got to where I'm at now, like. Um, doing some yard dog work. All right, so you uh, so so, of course you you know you went over the road. You you know you did mm -hmm. the you know did the damn thing over the road. Did a couple of boss trucks, mm -hmm. and now you settle with uh, now you settle with um, with with yard work. No, no, before I uh settled with where I'm at, I was doing yard work. Oh, now I'm doing I'm delivering medical supplies with Ruron Transportation Medline. Oh, okay, okay. It's it, now what 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 type of company is that? Uh, tractor trailer, box truck, straight truck. What is it? It's tractor trailer, pulling fifty three. Medical supplies. Medical supplies, hospitals. Okay. Um, they I got box trucks and stuff too, and um, but mostly what I be pulling is fifty three. Now you know I I pulled medical before and uh -huh. met and and pulling medical supplies is 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 a different type of beast you you have to sign do do you have to sign off on uh important paperwork do they do, do they put like a little gps tracking tracker inside the truck and all like that no but the paperwork yes not they don't got to put the tracker in there but absolutely the paperwork do do they have to do they have to do you have to at least drive maybe about two three hours before you come to your first stop yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's what i had to do they well with me they had to put a they put a tracking gps mm -hmm. and going to pick up some medical supplies is like going to a black op site i mean yeah <laughs> the, the places i used to go to was like in the middle of motherfucking nowhere like Wait, is this right, right. is this a medical facility? Like, yeah, shh, yeah, shh, shh, shh. yeah. When you get off, yeah, <laughs> make, make sure you get off the phone and turn off your camera. Wait, I, I yeah, can't come. I, I can't come in with with the dash. No, you got to turn off your dash camera. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, okay. And then have to turn off the phone. I'd be like, you know, I try to sneak it right. I try to put my phone on vibrate uh -huh. and be like, yeah, let me see your phone, sir. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta turn it off. I'm like, okay. So yeah. yeah, it's like going into a whole it's like going into a black ops site. Like you you yeah. once you get there, you gotta forget about where the fuck you came to. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> so me to uh West Virginia. Mm -hmm. I ain't never seen no hospitals in no mountains, but uh definitely in West Virginia I've seen some hospitals in mountains, some dark <laughs> places. For real. <laughs> <laughs> how how difficult I I would imagine, you know, going to a hospital in a fifty three footer. How how difficult is that? It's very difficult sometimes because it be tight spaces, very tight spaces, mm -hmm. and I'll be like, how how, how did y'all figure this out? <laughs> uh, you know, we need that's a question. That's an age old question that would never be freaking answered. You know, they, right. we, I mean, trust me, I went to motherfucking places that be like, bro, really? <laughs> right. I mean, this ain't, this, this ain't no 53 foot. This is only made for like a boss truck. Like why, right. why would somebody order a 53 foot trailer to come back here, man? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So, so that's the so that's where you at right now. Uh, that's where the company yeah. you at right now. You you de delivering medical supplies? Are they are they local? Where where did you find this company at? Yeah, they local. Um, in the Canton area, I've been with them for about three years. 
Okay, okay, that's what's up. They taking care of you. Yeah, they taking care of me. All right, that's that's uh, good to hear. That's good to hear. Are you the are you the only female? Are you the only female driver there, or they got more female drivers there? Um, they have another female driver, but I am the um youngest oh, there, okay. and I'm the the only black female. Oh, okay, so. okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um. So before we get into, you know, beginning before we get into what you actually do now and uh what you what you want to promote out there, uh what's your feelings on uh on 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 the trucking aspect today? Because I I know on your on your Truckers T podcast, you 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 talk about a lot of topics. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of trucking topics and all like that. What what are what are what are some of your issues uh what are some of your yeah, issues like that you I'm- have out here? Um, I feel like honestly, there, there's a lot more they should be doing. Mm-hmm. We we the main vein out here for things getting where they need to be. So I feel like there's a lot of resources that should be accessible to us, like gyms, better food, better things at these truck stops. Because some of these truck stops is crap, mm. <laughs> really crap. Couldn't agree with so, you more on that one. Yeah. And, I'm just like, I mean, it's the same thing, kind of like with the military. They should be paid a lot more, too, for putting their life on them. Main veins out here need to be appreciated just a little bit better. You feel, so, you, you, like, feel you feel that we, you feel that we're not appreciative out here? Oh, I, I don't feel like we appreciate it out here. How do you, do you, do you think that's more so now during the COVID, uh, do, and I call this the COVID era. Fuck it, I, you know, pre-COVID, everything, COVID, and after, you know, truckers been truckers experience a lot worse uh, treatment right. after, you know, during COVID and after COVID, we we experienced a lot uh, a lot worse treatment out here. Do you agree with that? I do agree with that. I do absolutely. So what, so what we, do you, oh. we work on they we work all through this pandemic. You know, some some of these companies don't even want to pay us a little bit better or give us a bonus or 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 I I'm not even I'm gonna put it out there. My company at first we had to wait a while before they even gave us like hand sanitizer or something to clean down the truck. Mm-hmm. You know, just mm-hmm. basic stuff like that. So. Man, you know, with my company, I got to admit my my company, you know, doing the doing the situation, especially after I just came back from being sick. Uh, you know, they gave me, you know, I got paper towels, hand sanitizer, man. but uh but yeah, but after, you know, but doing but doing this covid era, era man. I mean, you know, truckers you know, we we're, we're just not being respected as shippers, receivers. We can't even use, right. you know, we can't even use their bathrooms or anything like that. Right. And they then and, and and they all using the uh it's it's the uh COVID uh excuse. It's like yeah. bro, really? I mean right. I, I got my mask. <laughs> I said I got my right. mask on and everything and all like that. I got mm-hmm. this, I got that. And I and I'm I'm still being treated the same way that I was treated even before the pandemic, bro. Yep, yep. So as far as yep. as, as far as women, as as far as women drivers, how do you feel? How how do you feel the women drivers are being uh are are being treated out here? Sometimes I feel like because we're working in a in a man's world, you know what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. some of some of People kind of treat us like we don't know what we don't or we fragile. Let me let me help you with this, or you don't know what you're talking about. Kind of not letting get, let let you get the words out. Some people want to shut you down mm-hmm. because, or the fact that I'm a woman and I'm young, they think I don't know. What so I I feel like sometimes that could be <laughs> a problem. All right, all right, so. Uh, Jess, so Truckers T on, uh, on Instagram, um, go ahead and, uh, lay that out for us. Um, how long you been, you know, how long you been, uh, been doing the, doing the Truckers T podcast? You also, is it more, is it more prevalent on Instagram or is it more prevalent on YouTube? Um, I'm not on YouTube, but I'm on Instagram. Okay. 
it's prevalent on both. So I've been doing this for a year. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. I've been doing this for a year. Oh, there you um, go. Yeah, and I wanna, I wanted to. I don't, I don't. It's not. Uh, it's a support system. This is what I, that's what I feel like it is. It's a support system and a movement for mm-hmm. us because. I'm going to be, my future is be working towards being a psychologist. Mm-hmm. So I want to understand the mind. And I know it's a lot of, I ran into a lot of people across the world from New York to California. Mm-hmm. But if you sit down in a diner and just talk to anybody, you know, just have a conversation. That's what I like. Thing, I, that's that's what I like. I, I like to have, you know, I like to have people to come on the Lockout Men podcast show, the coolest podcast yeah. on YouTube right now. You know, just to sit down and yeah. have uh, it, just to sit down and have good conversations, just to get to know one another and and just talk yeah. shop. Yeah, I wanna I wanna know what's going on 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 different people's side of the wheel. You know what they're dealing with and what they're battling. You know, and sometimes you know let's shed let's shed light on these uh fleet managers or these dispatchers. What what what? How do you how do y'all feel? You know, because sometimes they don't understand what the truck drivers go through, mm-hmm. and we don't understand what. The factors of the fleet supervisors go through. So why don't we get all sides to get a better understanding and start treating each other accordingly? You know what I'm saying? That's so, what's up. That's yeah. what's up. So you've been doing so you've been doing this on uh on YouTube uh for over a year. Uh-huh. How many subscribers you yeah. got so far? I got twenty five and I'm grateful for that. Okay. Okay. I'm- <laughs> yeah, people go ahead and uh go ahead and subscribe to my girl Truckers T on YouTube and make sure you guys follow her on uh on Instagram via Truckers T. The name Truckers yeah. T though, I you know, I mean I know you want to get into in the trucker psyche, but you you know that word yeah. T is is more yeah. like is is more like on a gossip side. Why why you named it Truckers <laughs> T? Cause when well, when, when we like, truckers come in to look for you, and they're gonna be like, "Oh man, well we can we about to get the tea on there." And you come talking about some, hey, you know we're gonna get into a person's psyche. <laughs> 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 we don't want no clip bait now. I said tea could be just be what's happening, what's going on, because we can have all different sides of things. Mm-hmm. So, so this ain't gonna just be about the psyche and what's going on in your mind and what you release. But we also gonna know what's going on with these. We supervisors, these dispatchers, maybe even a warehouse worker. Like, why do you feel like you should be like this towards a truck driver? Or truck driver, why do you feel like this way towards this warehouse worker? Yeah, we want to we wanna touch on everything. It ain't going to just always be on psyche basis, but I figured why not throw that psyche basis in there because mental health is important. I feel like that's one thing I feel like everybody could have relate to during this pandemic. I know... I didn't have plenty of mental breakdowns during this pandemic. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. and you just wanted somebody, to, and you just wanted somebody to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah. I, I like the I, I like the name. Don't get me wrong, Truckers T. I I, I likes the name. Um. Yeah. Have you have you have you thought of uh have you thought of going on TikTok? Because you know there's there's a there's a truckers community and a whole other communities on TikTok. Oh no, I, I was have a TikTok. Everybody keeps telling me just get a TikTok, get a TikTok. So I don't even got one. What you know what my and, and I'm going to tell you like I tell everybody else that that doesn't have a TikTok. Now I'm a, yeah. I'm not I'm not a fan of TikTok. I mean. To be totally honest, I, I'm I'm really not. I, I can't I can't freaking stand the app. You know the TikTok dances, <laughs> the challenges, and and the kids yeah. and all like that. But but for cross promotion and everything, mm-hmm. that's what I use it for. I, I just you know I cross promote my uh, my other platforms, and that's okay, how okay. And, and that's how I get it out there. Now with TikTok. And and a lot of people may disagree with me, but fuck TikTok is just about it, it's too easy to to get right. a lot of followers. I mean, yeah. especially if you're a female, you know what I'm saying. And don't give me look TikTok. Don't come after me because it's true. Uh, it, it there <laughs> there has been an ongoing trucking uh, female trucking 
uh, community that's growing over there than a little bit. Where y'all oh. been? It's like every, it's like every, it's like every other for you on my for you page. Every other, uh-huh. every other flip, there is a new female driver. Wow. I okay. mean, I mean, it's like it's. Uh, believe me, listen to what I'm saying. It, it's like a new female driver, and I I interview uh maybe ten of them so far, and okay. and okay. and they all came from from TikTok. Like, I mean, I I reached, you know, before TikTok, I used to reach out through Instagram, but it wasn't that many, you know, like if you go into the search on Instagram or, yeah. or on my search page, it's just a lot of females with bikinis on. I'm just saying. Right. But uh <laughs> but um but same thing on YouTube. You know, I, I put mm-hmm. I put female truck drivers on YouTube, and you know, mm-hmm. of course I get female truck drivers from abroad female you know and not that many female truck drivers like locally like centrally right but on yeah. but on tiktok every okay. other flip of my for you page there's a there's a female truck driver talking about something oh, talking okay. about something something happened to them they going to talk about it they on tiktok um uh some like the one young lady moved her moved her trailer from the dock and somebody almost fell off the damn dock because she she said that it was the green light but she didn't get out the get out the check uh, you know uh, and she yeah, put that yeah. put that on tiktok I'm like wow oh man so <laughs> but yeah but like i said for you know for like us you know if you want to you know, you want to, and look, if you want to find some interesting people, you can find mm-hmm. them on TikTok, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, kid, I, I kid you the fuck not. You, you, you can find, you can okay. find them on TikTok. So okay, yeah, just okay. use it, just use it as a cross promotion. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Use it as a cross promotion. And, you know, like if we, if, if me and you come up with some, you know, come up with some interesting topics or uh, interesting guests. Uh, that okay. I think that you know both of us can you know play off of one another you know with the questions or something like that. Uh, yeah. you know I definitely I'll I'll definitely bring you in. Um, and now as far now as far as lives, I don't I don't do lives all like that. So what do you what do you do about live? I don't really do lives all like that either. I pre-record. That's yeah. That's what I do. That's what I do. I do the same yeah. thing. So I tell you what. Um. I tell you what, man. Uh, the vibe and all like that. Plus, you from the same area as me, and all like that. So yeah. you know, definitely. You know, if I get a if I get an interesting guest or something like that, um, or if I do like one of my make the call videos or something like that, I'll definitely, you know, bring you in, and uh, we both can, you know, we both can play off each other, and we can, you know, I it, it doesn't matter. You you can record, you know, on your end or. I'll record on my end and I'll just send you the, you know, send you the, uh, the audio and you can, you know, Ooh. upload it on your, you know, on your, on your YouTube page and we can do it like that, man. Sound good, man. You sound good. All I'm right. down. All right. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, truckers T, thank you. You are a citizen now. So you can talk <laughs> to me online, <laughs> offline, in the air, on the air. In the mist, Ooh. out the mist, I'm um, I'm available to you. So just give me a call whenever you want to holler at me, and uh, and and yeah, like I said, we'll start uh, cross, we'll we'll start we'll start doing things together. Okay, well, I just want to tell you I appreciate you, man. This is my first interview. I'm really grateful. I'm humble about. It. Thank I you. Appreciate you for having me on. Not a no, no doubt. I appreciate you going out here doing the things that you know. Well, let me ask you this. You know, they say that this is a male dominated uh industry, but what do you what do you feel about it now? Do you, do you guys still feel that it's a male dominated industry? Man, if it's other women like me, hell no. <laughs> Cuz we can do it too. <laughs> That's what's up. We can do it. That's what's up. My girl, Truckers T everybody. Thank you very much for coming on, ma'am. No problem, man. You have a blessed day, man.
All right, you too. Stay safe. You too as well.